Hi, I'm Phil McKenna. I'm a journalist with Inside Climate News. I'm based in Boston, and I write a lot about super pollutants, greenhouse gases other than carbon dioxide that have a really strong impact on climate change. Hi, I'm Lily Pike. I'm a reporter with Inside Climate News this summer. I mostly cover topics related to China. So Phil, of the thousands of plants that emit greenhouse gases in China, what got you interested in these? The plants make adipic acid, and this is an ingredient in making nylon. When you make adipic acid, there's a lot of nitrous oxide that's released, and nitrous oxide is a highly potent greenhouse gas. 300 tons worse for the climate than carbon dioxide. But your story didn't begin in China, is that right? Yeah, so I was writing a story about a similar plant in Florida and realized that there were a lot more of these plants in China and that they likely weren't doing anything to reduce their emissions of nitrous oxide after a valuable carbon trading subsidy for them dried up. Lily, can you talk a little bit about some of the reporting obstacles that you came up against? You know, it's always better for a story about China to be in China for various reasons, including COVID. Um, Phil and I were not able to travel to China for this story. And so trying to get through to people at these factories is just very difficult to begin with. The two main factories are both state owned and not very accustomed to talking to the foreign press. It's a topic that we had to be very careful thinking about how we'd approach our interviews because company representatives wouldn't necessarily want to talk about the fact that their companies may be um, releasing all of these nitrous oxide emissions directly into the atmosphere. You've both spent over six months reporting the particulars of this chemical and the people who do business with it. What were your main takeaways? The carbon trading programs are really hard to do right and things can go wrong in a lot of ways. On the encouraging side, super pollutants like nitrous oxide, there are often fixes for them that are very inexpensive. And because they have such an outsized impact, if you can reduce emissions, it can really have a tremendous positive impact in reducing uh, greenhouse gases and combating climate change. <laughs>